Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna name it, but it has something to do with turning 50. And officially today, I am turning 50. I didn't know exactly how I was gonna feel about that this morning when I woke up. I've been anticipating this for quite a while. It's one of those things that you, it's kind of in the back of your mind. And when I turned 40, I knew I felt fine with that. I, I didn't have any issue with turning 40. And then you always wonder about how that big number 50 is going to affect you. So um, I thought I'd just sit down for my first video, do kind of a chit chat, get ready with me. We're going to be going out later. Uh, so I just wanted to get ready and share a little bit about myself and uh, have you get to know me a little bit better. And if you're interested in that, let's get into the video. So to start off, uh, I'm going to tell you that my moisturizer and my eye cream are already on. I do that. That's a daily thing. I would do that night and day. So first thing I'm going to start with is a primer. So this is one of my favorite primers from the drugstore. It's just the Maybelline Baby Skin and it just fills in all of the kind of the pores just kind of around my nose area down here on my chin and a little bit here on my forehead. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that, just a little bit, and kind of work it into my pores, down on my chin, up here on my forehead, and it just glides on. It helps your foundation sit better on your skin. And believe me, I was never a primer person up until about two years ago and I tried uh, primer for the first time and I couldn't believe what a difference it made for my foundation. And it just helps it, uh, my foundation sit better on your face and your makeup last longer through the day. So we're just gonna let that soak in. And then I'm going to go in just under my eye area. I like to put a little bit of the NYX Angel Veil just under my where my concealer is going to go and we're just going to put a little bit of this under my eyes so yeah turning 50 today wasn't sure exactly how i was going to feel about that and then i woke up this morning and i went you know what i'm okay with it it's i'm embracing so many of my flaws as you're getting older um, definitely the gray hairs are starting to show they're sprouting up everywhere and i'm considering do i let them do i just go gray totally or do i just keep fighting it with all these highlights i haven't you know decided that yet so uh that, that's going to be a work in progress so we will keep doing what i'm doing so i'm just going to let that sit on my face for a couple minutes and we're going to go in today with a little bit of the, this is just the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Foundation. And I'm going to use my, this is just a Real Technique sponge. I'm going to go in with that. Give it a good shake. I'm just using this in the shade um, 120. And I usually just put a little bit on the back of my hand. and lightly apply that. Now you can see I do have uh, sun damage on my face here. Uh, I do wear sunscreen, but that is one of those things, unfortunately, that has happened to my skin over the years. I'm not a sun worshiper. I don't go and bake in the sun. It's just one of those things that happens. So now I'm just going to take my sponge and work that in. So yeah, looking back and you, know, you think, wow, turning 50, what does that mean? And I look back at my life and I think, you know, where is the time gone really actually? I know there's parts where you remember being a little kid, all the things you used to do as a kid. And I think, wow, 
I have a good job. I do work uh, full time. I've worked for a company now for about 29 years and did so many things over, you know, as your kids are little, you know, shifts that I would work just so that uh, we didn't have to worry about having day care for them. Uh, we were, you know, there was quite a period of time where my husband and I really didn't even see each other. He was working, um, I would work early morning shifts and he would work like an afternoon shift. And there was quite a span of time where we didn't even see each other. So um, now that my kids are growing, they're uh, 22 and 24. And when I look back and I think they truly are uh, my, gra <laughs> sorry, my greatest gifts. Sorry, I didn't think I was going to get emotional. <laughs> just having a bit of a proud mom moment so just give me a second i'm sure you other moms can relate to that where you're just the pride sometimes can be a little overwhelming um just looking at your kids and uh how well they're doing uh meeting exceeding actually my greatest expectations for them and uh yeah i'm just so so proud of both my sons so uh they both go to university and uh yeah just so so proud of them they are my greatest greatest gifts in life so um but yeah looking back at my you know my career and that sort of thing um yeah they, it truly has been a, a blessing and you you think you know where has has the time gone where has has life gone and you're just living in the day-to-day -day moments right really you're just going along with your life and boom, all of a sudden you are turning that, I see for me, turning 50 is like a milestone kind of day. It's just one of those iconic numbers where you just go, wow. I was telling my husband this morning that I, one of the things I thought about was um, my grandma, she passed away last year. And she was 107. And when I actually put that into perspective a little bit and thought, wow, I've been on this planet for 50 years. And she lived another full lifetime of me plus seven years. And that's just amazing to me. I can't even, I don't know if I can even comprehend that. That's just unbelievable. Uh, she was such a strong woman. So, um, that's something that definitely, definitely something to aspire to. So when I put on my foundation, I remember to always put it down your neck as well. Try not to talk while you're putting on foundation on your neck. Makes your voice all jittery. But yeah, you just want it to be uh, seamless and go straight down, straight down your face. And this is one of my favorite foundations. It's uh, just makes my face look flawless. I don't usually like a uh, full coverage foundation. I find as I have gotten older, any of those foundations just sit and settle in my, my fine lines in here and along. I have, um, unfortunately, quite a wrinkly forehead. So anything like that, just it all just settles into my lines there. So I find this is a really, really good foundation for that. Yeah, I think this has turned out nicely. I'm sure, I'm just getting all the way up into my hairline. So I don't mind having, you know, those little sun spot areas kind of show through. That's fine. And I, you know, I, like I said, I don't use a full coverage. Um, so this is more the um, Maybelline's more of a, I'm going to say medium coverage. So I'm fine with that. And we're just going to go one more time. Just make sure all of that. I think, I'm not sure about everybody else, but I seem to always have a little bit of redness just down in my nose area here. So just want to make sure that that's all good. Sometimes seeing it from different angles. Okay. Next, I am going to do some concealer. Uh, today, I am just going to use, 
I'm going to actually use two different concealers. As you can see, before I covered it with foundation, I'm quite purple under the eyes. So I'm just going to go in first. This is just the Maybelline uh, Fit Concealer. I have this in the shade Sand, and I'm going to put a little bit layer underneath here, just very lightly, because I'm going to go in with another concealer after this. Just to brighten that area, I like to have the brightness in my under my eyes there. So I'm going to use just this little Real Techniques, the little sponge there. It works really, really well under the eyes. So yeah, um, what else can I tell you? I always try and put some of that, um, whatever spare foundation that you have or concealer, I just put that on my eyelid and it just helps take away all those kind of veiny areas that you have on your, in your eyelid. And then I'm going to go in. This is one of my new favorites. It's the NYX uh, Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer. Oops, I'm going the other way. There you go. And this is in the shade Vanilla. So now I'm going to use this to do some highlighting on my face. So I'm going to take a little bit here, run some down my nose, on my cupid's bow, my chin. I have a little red dot on the side of my nose that absolutely drives me bananas. So we're going to cover that up. And I'm going to put, again, just a little bit of lightness under my eyes on top of that other concealer that I had. And it's just going to help brighten this area up a little bit here. And I'm going to first blend with the bigger sponge. And go under my eyes. So yeah, let me know uh, in the comments below how many of you people have turned 50 and how you felt about that. So I always try and make sure all of that concealer, everything's all blended in, everything's nice and highlighted. Um, I always have a little bit in the very corners of my eyes. Just try and run that sponge just on my eyelids a little bit. And that's what's nice about this sponge is it just gets right into the corners. So now to help with the, um, helping my the setting of the concealer and the foundation. I use just a little bit of powder under my eyes, not a lot, because uh, I find that that just gets into the all of my fine lines and creases under my eyes. So I'm just going to take this the tiny little sponge and I'm going to put a little bit of loose powder. This is the, the one I'm using today is the Fit Me Maybelline in the shade Fairlight. And I'm going to put this right underneath my eye area. I don't use a lot. I'm just using a tiny little bit. And that's just going to help set right underneath my eyes. And I'll bring it also right on my eyelid. And by doing that, it just helps your, it's going to help your eyeshadow um, go on a little bit better and stay on. And then for the rest of my face, I am going to use just a regular uh, fluffy brush. I'm going to just set that rest of my, the area where the highlighter was. I don't put um, powder on my whole entire face. My skin is on the drier side. So I find by doing that, it just kind of makes my settle into all of my fine lines. So if I'm just putting it in my areas where the highlighter was, that works best for me. Okay. Okay, so next we're going to go into the eyes. And I'm going to use uh, a couple of different palettes today. So we're going to go in first with the NYX. I like the all the neutral warm tones on this. This is actually called Warm Neutrals by NYX. And we're going to first go in with this matte shade right here. They don't really have um, names for them, so I'm just going to go in with this nice matte shade here and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And always make sure to kind of tap off your eyeshadows and that way you're going to have less fallout under your eyes. So we're just going to go in with that color there. And it's just a nice setting eyeshadow. And I'm not using um, too hard of a uh, motion. Just trying to put it on really lightly. Um, I find as I'm getting older, again, that my eyes are definitely starting to uh, droop a little bit more just in this area here just on the the ends I'm starting to get a little bit of that droopiness 
So to counteract that, you just have to uh, work the eyeshadow a little bit in the different colors. So I'm just going to use that as a nice transition shade. And I'm just using, this is a Real Techniques uh, brush. It's just a base shadow brush. What I'm going to use for my, this is a um, blending brush. This is by NYX. And the next shade I'm going to go in with is this brownie color here. It's like a, a chocolate milk chocolate color. So I'm going to go in with that one. And I'm just putting this on the outer edge of my eye. I'm bringing it lightly into the crease. I'm not using a lot of pressure, like I said. I'm just very lightly using my brush and sweeping it back and forth. And then just bringing out a little bit to the edge of my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to go on the other side. Whatever you do to one side, you always do on to the other side of the eye. I'm just bringing it right into my crease. And I do prefer more warm neutrals. I just find for my skin tone, they usually um, do the best. I'm not doing too much of a dramatic eye today. I'm just going to do uh, just a real neutral kind of look today. And I think I'm going to go in with this kind of like a reddy brownie color and apply that just in the corners of my eye, outer edge I should say, not the corners. Bring that right in here. Just gonna, I always have um, a, a Kleenex or something just close by so that I can just rub the, especially if I'm using multiple brushes, just rubbing that, those colors on in. They're really good to use. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in with the, I'm gonna go in with this light. It has a bit of a shimmer to it. This one right here. So I'm gonna go in with that one. Just along over here. Kind of lighten up this area. The key to eyeshadow is making sure that you blend. Blending is so important when you're applying eyeshadows. You want it to look seamless. I think I'm going to try. So from this, this is just a Lee Swatchy eyeshadow palette. The colors are absolutely beautiful, beautiful colors, and very pigmented. So I'm going to go in with this one right here, and I'm going to apply that with my uh, finger. I find these shimmery shades apply better when I'm on your fingers. I'm just going to put that right along my eyelid. You can use a brush, but I just find that using your finger helps the product stay on a little bit better and apply a little bit better. There. Now my next step is I am going to go in and do my eyebrows. So I don't usually do a lot with my eyebrows. I just am filling in any sparse areas and just kind of making sure that it comes down the kind of the tail area. So this is just going to be the CoverGirl pencil I'm using today and this is in the shade Soft Brown. I love the little spoolies on the end. Very helpful. And I'm just going to go in on the other side and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up with my brows. And one thing to keep in mind when you're doing your brows is they don't have to look exactly alike. I think the saying is your brows are supposed to look more like cousins and sisters, so uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing them. They don't have to be exact. So yeah, I think the brows turned out okay. And a little bit of a brush and next we are going to go in and do a little bit of under my eyes I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner so I'm going to use a couple of those shades that I was using so the kind of the brownie color there and this one there I'm going to run those underneath again the key is just shaking that that off that excess off so you're going to get a whole bunch under your eye and I'm just going to really carefully put that right by my lash line. I'm going to run it along here. And this is just a, a flat eyeliner brush from Eco Tools. Now 
always like to try and use the same uh, colors that I've used on my lid area. I try and use those same colors underneath my eyes as well. And that way it just gives it kind of a uniform look. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit. I'm going to go into another palette. I have also this um, e.l.f. palette. And this is just called their Rose Gold. And it has like a really deep, deep color in there. It's like a deep brown. I'm going to use a little bit of that one. And that's going to just darken up this area under my eyes. I'm just going to go like that under my eyes a little bit. And the next step is we're going to put on some lashes. And to do that, I'm going to go off camera because it's going to take me forever to do my lashes. So um, I'm going to go pop them on and I will be right back. I am back. Lashes are on. Uh, believe me, that takes me forever. I am not an expert in putting eyelashes on. So you would not want to be sitting there and watch me do that. So the next thing we're going to go into is I want to put a bit of color on my waterline. And I'm just going to use this, uh, this is the L'Oreal Infallible in, I believe, like dark brown. So we're just going to use that. I'm going to put it in my waterline. I always like to put uh, colors that, uh, products that have, it's waterproof. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And that just kind of finishes the look. A lot of times I'll use like a lighter color in my waterline. Um, but... I find that this one works good because it's just a brown color. It's not um, a black. And then I'll just sometimes take it right up into my upper rim. I don't want to disturb the false lash too much. So I'll just kind of do that right in the corners. And I'm going to take a little bit of that, that same color I had here. And I'm going to drop that into my corners of my eyes and I find that just gives it a little bit of pop in the corners of your eyes and I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to put it above my or I should say under my brow bone it just kind of gives it a nice little iridescent glow to it it opens your eyes up a little bit better all right, so next we're going to put some warmth back into our face. You can see right now it looks a little bit uh, blah, a little dimensional. So we're going to go in with my absolute favorite, favorite bronzer. This is by Marcel. Uh, it's just a blend of colors. And what I usually do is I just take my, my bronzing brush and I just swirl it around. As you can see, it's, it's well worn. And I just swirl it around, shake off a little bit of the excess. And I'm going to just apply that to my cheek area. And I like to apply it in like a three motion. So up here, down here, and then down into your jaw area. And I'll go and do that on the other side. Yeah, so we're just going to go and have a nice night out. And tomorrow night we're going to actually go to... Um, a nice dinner with my son and his girlfriend and then we're gonna go see the uh, Captain Marvel movie we are big Marvel fans absolutely love that so I'm really looking forward to that and I'm gonna take some of that bronzer and I'm gonna put it up here to my hairline just trying to put it kind of like in a areas that the Sun would naturally to put a little bit on my nose on my chin and I always run it down my neck area as well. I do use some self tanning. Um, as we're getting closer to summer now, thank goodness, I'll use a little bit of the self tanner less and less, but I just like it to use it sort of in my area here where you're gonna, I'm gonna be wearing t-shirts and that sort of thing. And usually on my legs where if I have like shorter pants on that sort of thing, I like to have a little bit of color to my legs and I don't normally do this step but I think I will today 
I'm going to do a little contouring. So I'm going to take that same brush and I have the e.l.f. This is just by e.l.f. And it is called St. Lucia. And it's just a really nice, um, their blush and then a like a bronzer, but I'm going to use it as a contour today. So let's put that and I'm just going to put a little bit. I always shake off a little bit. And I'm going to put it right underneath my cheekbone. Not a lot, just enough to give my face a little bit of dimension. Oh, did you just hear that? That was my stomach. I haven't eaten a lot today just because I'm waiting to have our supper. Just trying to use it just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to use this one, I think, here. And I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring on my nose. Not that I need a lot of contouring on my nose. I have a small nose, so but I just like to so it all blends together. So I'm just going to take a little bit, put it along the side here. Like I said, I don't I don't use a lot. And shake that off. And I'm just going to use a little bit on the other side. And then I'm going to take that little um, sponge again. And I'm just going to dab that on. Sponges just kind of help it set in a little bit better without any harsh lines. And I'm going to take that same contour. I'm going to put a tiny bit just up in this area here and then I'll blend it in as well with the brush and the sponge. So just along here and a little bit along my jawline. About two weeks ago I had uh, gum surgery done. I had really bad receding gum line and so I guess it was two weeks ago yesterday I had that done but I still have stitches in my mouth so and I find I, I'm just a little bit still in this area here it's not quite a hundred percent I can feel that so we're just gonna try and take some of that away with that and I'm just gonna sponge that area now put that extra contour Again, this is one of those steps that I never used to do. I, I just don't have time in the morning. Uh, my job requires me to be there at about 7 o'clock in the morning. And I were, I'm about an hour's drive uh, from work. So I'm getting ready for work most mornings at about 4.30 in the morning. And believe me, doing contouring and all that sort of stuff is just not high on my agenda. So uh, I'd like to do it on the days that... Uh, I don't I have some time to do it so that's all blended in there and I'm gonna go in now with some blush and I'm gonna use that same that blush from that elf palette just to bring a little bit of warmth to my skin it's a little bit uh, warm in here while I'm filming so you can see my cheeks are a little bit red still so I did I'm not gonna overwhelm my cheeks but I'm just gonna put a little bit of color just a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit on the apple of my cheek, just to give it some warmth and brightness. And I always make sure to push it right back into my hairline because you don't want any streaks and that sort of thing back there. All right, my next favorite step is my absolute favorite thing to do and that is highlighting. I am a highlighter junkie, absolutely love highlighters. And one of my favorite, favorite ones is the Maybelline Master Chrome. And this one I have in the shade Molten Rose Gold. And I, this is a little brush. It is the absolute best for applying highlighter. And it came out of this uh, Maybelline Master Chrome palette. Well, you can see this has been well used. Um, but it's just the little brush from there. And I absolutely think it's the best one for applying highlighter. So I just take a little bit of highlighter, shake it off. And I'm just going to put a little bit on this cheek area here and above my eyebrows. 
and I just want a little bit of subtle. The thing about using powdered highlighters, and I know that one of the things that they recommend for uh, mature women to use is a liquid highlighter. Well, I like powder highlighters, so uh, I, I will continue to use powder highlighters for as long as I can. Um, I know at some point I will switch to a, a liquid one, and if there's any liquid highlighters out there that anybody has a recommendation for, I would love to hear you guys tell me which one is good for uh, not settling in fine lines. And I find that this one is really good for not settling so much into my um, crow's feet in this area here. And I'm just putting a little bit just so that as you look around, you can kind of see a nice little highlight on your cheek area. And I'm going to take a little bit down my nose right on my nose and above my cupid's bow and my chin and just kind of just want to look look alive is what i say all right so my very last step that i'm going to do is the lips so i'm going to use my favorite favorite uh lip liner and that is the nyx and i just have this in the shade uh, nude And sometimes what I do is I overline my lip a little bit. Uh, I find like I have not thin lips, but they're not huge puffy lips. So I do like to just kind of overline them a little bit. I apologize if you hear my stomach growling. And I fill in usually my whole lip area with the lip liner. And then I'm going to go in with, this is just a really, really nice nude shade. It's by Lee Swatche. Uh, if you're not familiar with some of these brands, um, they are a Canadian company. Lee Swatche and Marcel are Canadian companies. I do live in Canada. I live on the west coast of Canada. And they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful products. So if you can get your hands on them, I, I'm sure you can order them online. Uh, people would just absolutely love this. This is like just a creamy, nice creamy lipstick that goes on your lips. And so what I do a lot of the times is I'll take that same Kleenex that I've been using for uh, all like my brushes and that sort of thing and I'll just take a little bit off like that it just kind of makes that kind of mess there and then I will apply a little bit more because all of that stuff that's coming off that Kleenex right now would end up on your teeth okay so I've done that and my last step is uh, I like to always have like a little bit of a topper on my lips. So this one is one of my favorites. It's the e.l.f. It's new, I believe. It's the Limp Plumping Gloss. And this is in the shade, I need my reading glasses, sorry, uh, Peach Bellini. So I'm just going to put that. And what I like about this one is actually you can feel it um, tingling on your lips, which is kind of bizarre. But... And I really do find it does make my lips a little bit plumpier than they would no normally be. So after I'm finished putting all my makeup on, I will take sometimes a little bit of a step back and make sure that I've got everything. My brows are done. I'll sometimes go through and just redo the brushing on my eyebrows in case they've been moved around by all the powders and all that sort of stuff. So I do that, assess, I'm going to go like that again and get all that excess off. And I think everything looks good. The only uh, step that I would recommend that I unfortunately don't have a, a finishing powder, or sorry, not a finishing powder, a finishing spray, uh, but I would really highly rec recommend doing that. If you're going out for a night and you're going to be out dancing, that sort of thing, it's always nice to have a setting uh, finishing spray that'll set your face for the whole night and um, your makeup is not going to budge at all. So I think that is it. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching my video 
And if you like this sort of video or if you want to watch something else that's uh, maybe brand specific, um, I can certainly do that if you prefer. I, I really like drugstore cosmetics. Um, I think it's just so nice to have affordable products that are quite comparable really to luxury brands. So I'm going to just quickly go do my hair off camera and I will be right back with the completed look. Okay, this is the completed look. So I just want to thank everybody for joining me on my very first video uh, and my 50th birthday. How often do you kind of get to do that? So I just want to thank everybody. Um, I'm sure once I watch this back, there's going to be little mistakes or flaws here or there. So just bear with me. It's my first video. And as you more you do things, the better you get at it. So uh, just hang tight. And uh, if you haven't done so already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell. And that way you're notified uh, whenever I upload a new video. So until next time, everybody, bye.